Hey everyone, it's Kelly Rush, Product Manager for Camtasia. In Camtasia 2023, we introduced these amazing new dynamic backgrounds, which are essentially motion backgrounds that you can customize in a bunch of different ways, and then have them stretch with perfect loopability across your entire video. There's so many different ways that you can use them in your videos, and one great way is to use them as a framing background for your screen video. It's super easy to do, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. But first, if you enjoy this video and find it helpful, Make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss all the latest and greatest Camtasia tips and tricks. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is import our screen video. If you don't have one yet, click the record button at the top of Camtasia and go ahead and make one. Once you've done that, you should see it in your media bin. Go ahead and add that to the timeline and you should see it appear up in the canvas. By default, it's going to take up the whole canvas though, which doesn't leave much room for our dynamic background frame. So go ahead and select your screen video on the timeline, and over in the Properties panel, go ahead and scale it down a bit, say to 90%. Great. Next, we're heading over to the Camtasia library. In the Camtasia 2023 library, find the Dynamic Backgrounds folder, and pick one that you like. After you've found one, drag it to the timeline and put it on the track below your screen recording. Now, you should see your dynamic background appear and frame your screen recording. Super easy. You can, of course, select the dynamic background and go ahead and tweak any settings over in the Properties panel to get the unique look that you want for your video. Don't forget to adjust the length of the dynamic background on the timeline, too, so that it lines up with your screen recording. Now, for three easy finalizing steps. First, go to the Visual Effects panel and add a corner rounding effect to your screen recording. In the Properties panel, set the radius to 12 so that you get a nice, subtle rounding on the corner. Next, go to the Visual Effects panel and add a drop shadow to the screen recording. In the Properties panel, set your angle to 270 degrees, your offset to 25, opacity to 50%, and blur to 30. This will give you a nice, soft drop shadow, which looks great against your dynamic background. And finally, with any screen recording, let's tweak the cursor settings. Go to the Cursor tab for your screen recording in the Properties panel and set the scale to 500% or more. You can change the recorded cursors to something else if you like. I typically use the Mac cursors and go with the standard pointer. And finally, go to the Cursor Effects panel and add a Cursor Shadow effect to your screen recording. In the Properties panel, set the opacity to 50 and the blur to 20 to get a nice, soft shadow. And that's it! Now you have a great dynamic background frame for your screen recording. This is a great effect because the motion from the dynamic background will naturally keep your viewer's attention on the screen. And once you get this process down, it only takes a minute to do, and eventually, you'll want to add it to all of your screen recordings. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you along in your Camtasia journey. If so, remember to like and subscribe to get more tips and tricks about Camtasia.